Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 27th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. We're starting out here looking at Lasco 2, showing the most recent CME that was ejected from the northwestern limb of our sun. A lot of plasma associated with this large event. And it was in an Earth-facing position. We are due to get a glancing blow from this event into the first week of May. As well, you can see there a couple other events shot out just afterwards. Southwest region and as well northeast. So CMEs and as well solar flares. Our sun has still been busy this this past week, but the past 48 hours, mostly CMEs. Having a quick look here at Lasco 3 at the full event. So this is due to come in for May 1st into the 2nd. Having a look here at our sun, the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms. Sunspots turning into view. Antipodal action. CMEs. Plasma filament eruption. Watching here slowly on the northwest limb of the sun. All of that plasma to start lifting and then eject away with the CME. Started off as a plasma tornado the day prior. And then it stretched out across the surface of the sun. And today was thrown into outer space. Having a look here at multi-spectrum at the event. And as well, a blue light here showing the most recent CME as well as this CME right there. The antipodal reactions, having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral, showing this event will be hitting us quickly May 1st into 2nd. Heading towards the Bepi satellite and as well Earth. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range right now after firing off a C-class flare today. KP index jumped up to KP5 as we are over 500 kilometers per second. Sitting right now 480, 494 kilometers per second. Earlier today jacked up to 546. And just have a look at the solar X-ray flux right there. Lots of action incoming. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 24. Quality of 8.0. Power of 16. And let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. USGS reporting about 250 earthquakes across the planet. And we're going to start out here with Walton 3D with the largest reported today, which was a 5.4. Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands, 10 kilometer depth, as well northward there, 4.9 was reported, South Georgia Island region. South America only reporting one earthquake today, a 4.9 in Iquique, Chile, 103 kilometer depth, Caribbean Plate has been very active today. Largest through the region was a 4.1 Virgin Islands. But Cruise Bay, 3.8 and a 3.9 there. Heads up, my Caribbean friends. 4.9 here reported in Mexico, a 22-kilometer depth. Looking across the United States, just recently, Mentone, Texas, a 4.0. And as well, a 3.6. Toya, Texas. So Texas is seeing a lot of activity around there and White City in New Mexico. Other than that, no major swarms. Notable earthquake here, 2.6. Kelly, Wyoming. 
That's right. That's, that is south of the Yellowstone Lake and as well the super volcano minor earthquakes in the lake and northwest region. Kelly, Wyoming, 2.6. Other than that, looking across the USGS, across the US, no other major swarms to talk about. Carry on here. Quiet through Hawaii, no major earthquakes to report. As well, Alaska only reporting one there. Minor earthquake the last little while. 4.6, 4.3 there. Japan into the Kuril Islands. As well, the Philippines still seeing earthquakes. 4.3, 4.4. Kermadec Islands with a 5.0 reported there. And a 4.9. Loyalty Islands. 4.6. Here, south of Australia, Western Indian Antarctic Ridge. And getting over into the Arabian Plate up into Europe, 4.9 here reported in Cyprus, following that 4.2 yesterday, as well as 4.9 here in Greece, 61 kilometer depth, and rare earthquake, Rudna, Poland, 4.5 earthquake. And that is the last 24 hours across the planet for earthquakes. As I said, USGS reporting 250. Quick glance at the last seven days across the planet for earthquakes. And I apologize for technical issues. Our live stream has not been up for almost 48 hours now. Stay tuned tonight as we will get that live stream back up and going. Hopefully all the internet and technical issues will cease. Stay aware, prepared, my friends and family. We've had a lot of deep earthquakes recently, and I still don't think we've seen a large enough release after that deep penetration. Also notable here, this is the National Buoy Center showing all the buoys across the world. Now this buoy here, south of Indonesia, south of Krakatoa, south of Christmas Island, has been going off for the past week now and has apparently dropped 70 meters since the start of the event. That is a very large drop. Something is up with Jakarta, south of Indonesia. Christmas Island. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and volcanoes getting updated. Pretty large low pressure system heading through the Atlantic. Stormy conditions through South America. Cold conditions coming up for North America. Having a look at volcanoes now. Sabancaya in Peru. Popopacatito in Mexico. Dekono, Indonesia. Krakatoa, Indonesia. Fuego, Guatemala. Nevada Steru is Colombia. As well, Ibu, Indonesia. Reventador in Ecuador. Sangay in Ecuador. Simaru, Indonesia. And as well, Batutara, Indonesia. Indonesia has been the hot spot recently. Stay safe, my friends and family from around the world. And I appreciate you tuning in every day, keeping humanity aware and prepared quick glance around the world at satellite imagery and as well all of the alerts going off around the world stormy conditions continuing through australia this week watch for that tropical depression to sweep into the continent long range forecast south africa reporting landslides after all the floods through the region tropical cyclone jasmine is still alive and heading across Madagascar. And let's get to the weather forecast here, brought to you by Venture Sky, and as well, daily events worldwide. It's going to be a shortened one here, having a look at the temperature for the next few days, as we do have some pretty cold systems coming through. 
We watch for the tropical Gulf air to start pumping up into the United States. And with that deep trough, high pressure cold, we're going to have some extreme weather here. Watching an extreme weather breakout for May 4th into 5th and the 6th as it races across central and southeastern United States. And then a cold front sweeps across western Canada. Watch along the convergence line for a pretty intense wild system to develop through Alberta. Prolonged rain, possible flood alerts, and then long-range forecast, 9th into the 10th, stormy conditions yet again for the United States. Quick glance around the world at the major systems, pointing them out. I want to thank you all for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the Daily Do, keeping you aware and prepared, and as well, up to date with the weather forecast. Still some pretty intense cyclones developing long range. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.